Dion Wei was dead. After successfully avenging his loyal retainer's death, Cao Cao set out in search of a path forward. A path of ambition. A path that would quickly and effectively lead him to domination of the land. A path that some would deride as cruel and ruthless. Cao Cao was determined to walk this path alone if necessary. He returned to Xu Zhang, and together with his new strategist, Jia Xu, he began plotting his next move. Yuan Shao and his massive army in Hebei. The self-proclaimed emperor, Yuan Shu. Jia Xu determined that Cao Cao must solidify his current position before taking on these two mighty foes. Just then, Liu Bei, who had taken Tao Qian's place as ruler of Shu, came in search of help. He had been attacked by none other than Lu Bu, who had been under his protection. Cao Cao gathered Xia Hu Duin, as well as Liu Bei and his men, and set out for Xia Pi in Shu province. Liu Bei, Lu Bu, and Cao Cao. Among the fields of Shu province, three heroes of the age would soon be engaged in heated battle. So that's Liu Bei, the one who was fooled by Lu Bu. Yes, he looks like a gormless idiot. Lord Cao Cao's interested in Lord Guan Yu now. They say he wants him for his army. Hey, you hear about Lu Bu's woman? They say he killed Dong Zhua just to get her. The enemy army has taken up position in the castle. We must find some way of luring them out. We are ready to face even the mighty Lu Bu if we must. Uh, can we practice running away instead? I've seen Lu Bu fight. We'll be killed with one blow. Hey, if I can meet this beautiful woman of Lu Bu's, I'll take my chances. Don't mind me. I was just practicing my frightened look. What do you think? Lord Guo Jia is a brilliant strategist for one so young. I see why he came with such high recommendations. Yes, our Lord is truly blessed with talent all around him. I wish he'd get rid of that Jia Xu, though. Our Lord moves in mysterious ways. Did you hear about Lord Cao Cao's doctor? He had a radical treatment for his headaches. What did he want to do to our lord? He wanted to cut his head open. He's in prison now, naturally. I had heard about Zhang Fei. But until I saw him myself, I never knew just how frightening he was. Lord Cao Cao wishes to place Lord Liu Bei in his debt, it seems. I wouldn't mind using a different weapon for a change. All we get are these spears and swords. I wish I could grow a beard like Guan Yu's. Mine just ends up all straggly. You're gonna pay for stealing our brother's land! Everybody, no one touches Lu Bu except for me! I hear that Lu Bu's officer, Zhong Liao, is a man of honor. We must act accordingly. Lord Cao Cao, 
I thank you for helping me recapture Shu Province. Lu Bu is an enemy to us all. It was something I would have done with or without you. In any case, I am grateful for your assistance. I do not engage in actions that do not provide me with some benefit. This battle was the perfect opportunity for me to obtain valuable officers. For example, somebody like the Honorable Guan Yu. I... Well, it is about time I move out. Everybody, we march! Lay siege to Xiapi Castle. Lu Bu's time is up. Lord Shahao Dwin, we will secure the Western Gate. Guan Yu, my lord values your skill in battle. This is your chance to prove that he is right. in flame! I have nothing to prove to you. My blade's only purpose is to keep my brother safe. Work together if you want to stay alive. We can get through this. So you are my next Your opponent. Your time is up. I'll crush you like all of the others. I'll grind you to dust. Excellent. I need to score more victories as well. Floodgate nearby. If we can break it, we could flood out the castle. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. You engulfed in flame. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. Another victim has fallen before me. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Just as we thought, they're after the blood pass. Get up! Now is the time to show you the blood pass. Get in I'll grind you to dust. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Another victim has fallen before me. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. I'm impressed, cousin. Okay, I'm ready to get serious now. Here is where the real battle begins. We must claim Lu Bu's head. Don't fall behind, Guan Yu! My, My lord! lord. Attack has worked! Lord Shaho Dwin, what happened to you? I am fine. The gates are open. We must attack.
My lord, the enemy units to the north are on the move. They are heading straight for Lord South South. Target is Tao Tao. I have no quarrel with you. Step aside. In flame. I'm afraid you will only make it as far as me. <laughs> Someone tie this animal up. I won't forget this. Dignity, Lu Bu. Die like a man of courage and integrity. Kill Lu Bu. Tao Tao! Curse you! Why? So, would you have shown mercy to that animal? Ready to die. 
go. Stand, Zhang Liao. You will be an integral part of my plans. Cao Cao managed to defeat Lu Bu at Shu Province. With that battle behind him, he moved toward a massive confrontation with his old friend, Yuan Shao. First, he lent some troops to Liu Bei and gave him orders to eliminate Yuan Shu. Cao Cao figured that Liu Bei would relish the opportunity to face such a powerful opponent. And just as he expected, Liu Bei immediately set out for battle. Indeed, Cao Cao would use anybody at his disposal in order to further his ambitions, even the Emperor himself. However, his actions began to lead to unrest within the Imperial Court. And so, the Emperor issued a decree that Cao Cao was to be assassinated. Cao Cao, you mean to kill me? I would never presume to do so, your highness. I tried to have you killed. I would have no right to complain. <laughs> you are a wise man, your highness. If it is your wish to kill me, I will not stop you. You frighten me. You shed no tears for your allies. You side with the enemy if necessary. And when someone is not needed, you get rid of them. Even if it is me. A country needs its people. And without a ruler, the people are lost. Your Highness is needed. At least, while I am alive, that is. Your presence allows me to move freely. To walk upon my ordained to build a new and better land. As ordered, Liu Bei attacked the Yuan Shu army and emerged victorious. In his weakened state, Yuan Shu was no longer a match for Cao Cao and passed away shortly thereafter. It was then that suddenly Liu Bei rose in rebellion. Cao Cao was determined to bring his massive army down upon Liu Bei's forces, leaving none unpunished. Liu Bei was a mere nuisance whose blind devotion to the concept of virtue would only lead to more chaos. Liu Bei's army crumbled before the might of Cao Cao's ambition. Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land with no place to call his own. As a result of this fierce battle, Cao Cao welcomed a new general into his ranks. It was none other than Guan Yu, a warrior who combined honor, loyalty, bravery, and intelligence into one formidable package. Having coveted Guan Yu for a long time, Cao Cao was pleased to finally have him by his side. Finally, he was ready to face his old friend, Yuan Shao. Having made the necessary preparations, he advanced his army toward Guangdu, the site where all would be decided. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao, 
their battle for control of the land was about to begin. It is clear what strategy we must use. Place decoys at Bai Ma and Yanjin. Then, launch attacks from each unit. He has numbers. But Yuan Shao is indecisive and imperceptive. He is a man of the past. This should be enough to deal with him. However, the problem is those decoys, though. The enemy is so great in number that they'll be simply overrun. Exactly. <laughs> You're a smart man. I can see why our lord values you so. Forgive me. It was not my place to speak out. Then you will have to go yourself, father. Hmm. So I would be the decoy. Quite brilliant, Lord Zaubi. Your father must be proud. Lord Zao Zao is the perfect bait. We can lure out the enemy at both Bai Ma and Yang Jin. As he makes his advance up the middle, we'll strike both places at the same time. Then we can squeeze the enemy in the center between us. I see. You look to divide and isolate the enemy forces. Precisely. Our lord and I will attack from Yanjin. Master Guan Yu, you take Bai Ma. Understood. Very well. Jia Xu, show me the intellect you are famous for. Thank <laughs> you. 